Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I showed you guys how to set up your life performance template. So you should have a kick, your snare, perks, music, and bass. So as you can see, I've got all of my stems in the correct place. And then I also have my scenes named um, the certain song and also the BPM is written on the scene as well. So that when I launch my clip, it'll play in the correct BPM. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I set up my instrument rack so that when I play a certain song, it automatically goes to the sound that I need for that song. So for example, if I play this, if you go to my instrument rack, you see that this little bar thing is right above here, right above the intentions song. And then when I play this, as you can see that little light blue bar moved to cello dare instrument which is the correct instrument for this song so i'm going to show you guys how i set this up so i'm going to pretend that this doesn't exist and we're just going to remake it from scratch okay so i'm going to go ahead and just make a new midi track right here and I'm just gonna command shift T shortcut. And then we're gonna go ahead and add an instrument rack in there. And then you should have already done this from my first video and that's saved all of the instruments that you need for your live sets. Make sure you click this right here. Um, do not click this, click this right here. It gets kind of confusing. And then you're gonna go ahead and drop in all your other instruments that you're using for your live performance. So I put intentions in there and I'm putting wet crust. As you can see, I've got all the instruments that I need for my live set. Then go ahead and click chain and you're gonna see these little um, blue lines and you're just gonna kind of move them to their own little spot. And you're gonna right click and distribute ranges equally. So now this first instrument covers ranges zero to four, the next one is five to 10, and the last one covers 11 through 16. So this step kind of just makes the instrument ranges just harder to miss. So the next thing that we're gonna do is create a MIDI clip next to the song that you wanna play a sound on. And then the next thing you're gonna do is go down here and go to instrument rack and then go down here and go to chain selector and then you're going to automate this to the range that this particular song is in because this is the sound that we want to use when we play this song so it's 14 right here and then i'm going to go down to intentions another empty clip but intentions is between the 5 to 10 so i'm just going to leave it at 9 and then dare to love and create another mini clip and then that one's between the range zero to five so i'm just going to put it on two and now when you launch your scenes it's going to play the correct sound for the correct song And as far as an instrument such as a guitar goes, which I personally played in my live set, I went ahead and saved all of the audio effects in an audio effect rack for my guitar so that I could just go ahead and drag those effects into my guitar track. You'll want to do the same thing for vocals if you're singing on a song, and this is all stuff that you should be doing the same time you're saving your sounds for your songs. Another thing that I did for my live performance is I added in an audio effect rack, and basically what this allows me to do is it allows me to just add effects to my performance. So in this particular effects rack, I have my auto filter, beat repeat, EQ3, delay, 
I've made a whole other video on how to add these effects to your live performance. So I'll go ahead and link that so you can check that out if you would like. But just to give you a quick example of what this would look and sound like in a live performance, I would go to MIDI first of all to set this up, click on frequency, and then turn the knob that I'm going to use to control it. Go back to MIDI. So now when I play the song, I can control the frequency of the song as it's coming in. And then I can also control it obviously going out or if I want to do some stylistic things with it during the song. Alright guys, so that's basically it on how I played my instruments for my first live performance and how I set my whole live template up. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Please like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you guys want to learn more about how I do stuff. <laughs> and I'll see you guys on the next one.